हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू कूपर एजुकेट टू एम्पावर स्क्रैच यू ने ऑनलाइन कोर्स लेसन टेन इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न हाउ टू मेक गेस्ट द फ्रूट नेम गेम फर्स्ट लेट्स लुक इन टू द प्रोजेक्ट सो दिस इज एन एप्पल सो वी हैव टू गेस्ट द स्पेलिंग ऑफ एन एप्पल इन दिस गेम इफ इट्स अ रॉन्ग स्पेलिंग द वर्ड वॉन्ट मूव टू द टॉप So this was the game. Now let's look into the coding. We will start by deleting the sprite that comes with the new project. In this game we need 3 pages. So we'll click on the plus sign on the right to add two more pages and we'll delete the sprite here. Let's design the first page. So in the first page we want a a blank page and we'll put a different color to that. Let's put a square first and click on the fill sign to add green fill and click tick. We click on the ABC above to type the name of the game. Let's guess the fruit name and we'll place accordingly. Then we'll click on the ABC sign again and type play now. Now we need a button so we'll click on the plus sign here to add the sprite and click on the paint brush let's make a button with the circle click on the fill to add the green color and click tick um let's change this color because the color is similar to the background now we can increase the size of this button with the purple block the grow block and we'll type in 6 here and press that so the size of the button is appropriate now we want that when we click the button it should take us to the page 2 so let's go into the red blocks and take the page 2 choose the yellow block and start on tap character so when the button is clicked it should take us to page 2 so you can see it took us to page 2 let's design the page 3 first that is the end game page first we'll choose the background let's take the orange background and click tick type in u1 maybe you can increase the size of this you can change the color from here as well to any color now the user wants to play again we have to add a button here if they want to play again let's add the text first and choose the size now we'll add the play again button click on the plus sign maybe choose the same button that you chose for the first page add the button here increase the size of the button with the grow block you can just put 6 and click on the button so when we click on the green button on the u1 page it should take us to the page 1 that is play now page so when the button is clicked go to the red blocks it should take to the page 1 so let's try so it's taking us to the page 1 so this this is the first and the last page design now let's design the page 2 let us first make the backdrop of the page 2 click on the image on the top and click on the paint sign let us give a color click on the square icon and select the light green color and make a box click on the fill in option and fill in the color now select the square again and select black color now let's make a rectangle on the top like a screen fill in the rectangle with the white color now we have to make 11 squares for alphabets let's design the squares 
choose the black color for the square and make 11 squares now the squares have to be filled with the alternate colors green and orange green and orange let me show you how click on the fill in option select the orange and fill in orange alternatively and then select the green color and fill in green I have already created the rest of the boxes and you also have to create the boxes like this after that click on the tick sign on the top right corner and the backdrop will be set like this now we have to choose the sprites we'll click on the plus sign on the left drag down there would be an apple you can take any other fruit as well I'm taking apple for now and click on tick sign place the apple in the screen as shown here because we want to guess the name of an apple so that's why we have chosen an apple here now again click on the plus sign now we have to create the letters I'll show you how to make one of the letter we can just click on the free flow diagram here then select the black color because we want the letters to be in black color you can see the line is very thin so we'll select the line to be big and thick so we are selecting this and draw the line for an A because we want an A alphabet and click tick you can place the A alphabet in any of the box I am placing it in the first one and I am giving the size by shrinking it with 2 and putting the A here similarly we have to write down other alphabets as well you can write down one by one. I have already written down few of the alphabets. So I'll just be selecting that. So I can select B here and click tick. I'll place the B here in the box. Again click on the shrink. And shrink accordingly. So that the size fits in the box. I think I need to shrink one more. So you can also shrink according to the size you have of the alphabet. Just to make sure that it should fit inside the box. And now I'm choosing E alphabet, putting the E alphabet here, again choosing the shrink box and shrinking the E so that it fits in my box like this. Just like that one by one I have placed all my alphabets into the boxes as you can see here. Now we want to do the programming of the letters. As you can see in the photo, the fruit is apple, so the spelling would be A, P, P, L and E. Now we have some extra letters here like R, K, B, O, T, M. So we have to do the programming of these alphabets as well and the apple. Let's start with the programming of the letters that are not going to be the part of spelling apple. Now suppose there are alphabets like R. O, which is not going to be the part of apple so what we want is when the user clicks the alphabet like R it should go left and right and then make a pop sound but it should not move to the top so let's do the programming of that let's start with letter R on the left hand side drag down to search the letter R click on the character now if the letter is not the part of the name what we want is when the user clicks it should make a pop sound so go to the yellow blocks start on tab character just drag that block go to the green blocks the sound block and drag the pop sound so whenever the user clicks the alphabet it makes a pop sound now we want the R to move left and right like left and then come back to the original place so um, let's go to the blue blocks so this is the left block it should go to the left and then to the right but it should go to the left only when the user clicks that so go to the yellow blocks again start on tab character and place it in front so whenever the user clicks the alphabet R it should make a pop sound and go left and right similarly we have to do this for T O every character which is not part of the alphabet name let's go to the T and do this again when the user clicks the character it should move to the left and then to the right by one step so that's why it's one 
then on again clicking it should make a pop sound so for all the alphabets that's not part of the name of the fruit the programming is same so now for the b character just pick up these blocks and put it in b as well and again drag these blocks and put in b now click on b character you can see the programming is already done so this means that you don't have to do programming again and again if it's same you just have to pick up these blocks and drag let's do it for o just pick up the block and drag for o as well similarly do for k and m and same for the pop sound as well so now the programming for all the characters that's not part of the name of the fruit is done now let's do the programming of the apple word like a p p l and e now on the left hand side drag down and look for character a click on that now we want to move character a from here to the top so we'll use the grid system we we'll click on the grid we see the character a is at the 6th place and we want it to go to 12th so 12 minus 6 is 6 so we want the alphabet a to go to the top by 6 so click on the yellow blocks whenever the user click the alphabet a it should go to the top by 6 so now to go to the top we have to use the motion blocks let's go to the motion blocks and this is move up so we'll move up by 6 so whenever user clicks a it goes up by 6 places so this is the only programming for alphabet a now let's do the programming for alphabet p let's move the alphabet a back now again click on the grid system now we have to move okay let's place it here we have to move the alphabet p first to the top so we have to move it again from 6 to 12 that is we have to move the alphabet p to the top by six places just like a let's click on that alphabet first this one so whenever the user clicks the alphabet p go to the motion blocks it has to move up so it has to move up by six places so we'll put six here now after moving to six places it has to move from 16 to the position 8 so 16 minus um, actually not 8 um almost 8 yeah okay almost 8 so it has to move from 16 to 8 16 minus 8 is 8 so it has to move left so we'll use the block move left by 8 places and this is the this is the programming for alphabet p which is the second one now for the third alphabet p which is at the 11th position we have to move this alphabet to the 12th so it is at 3 now so we have to move it at 12 so 12 minus 3 is 9 so whenever the user clicks the alphabet p it should actually move up which is this block by 9 places so we'll change the letter 1 to 9 so it's a p p now for l let's do the programming for l now the character l first it moves from 2 position to almost 11 and then it goes to the left and then settle so we'll see the l is at position 3 it has to move to the position 12 so 12 minus 3 is 9 whenever the user clicks the alphabet l it should move up by 12 minus 3 places so it's already at 3 it has to go to 12 so 12 minus 3 is 9 so we'll put the 9 character first so it takes this alphabet l here to here with 9 now we want it to move from the position 16 let's place the p also here now we want it to move from position 16 to this position 11 
so 16 minus 11 is 5 so it has to move left by 5 places so this is the programming for L now let's go to E for the character E we have to move it from 5 to 12 so uh, I 5 to 12 yeah so it's already at 5 we need to move it to 12 so it's going up by 7 places so let's do it when we click it it has to go up first of all it's going up from 5 to 12 let's check again it's at oh it's at 6 from 6 to 12 it's going up so it's going by six places let's put six here so by this you can check here if the user clicks e it goes up by six places which is exactly where we want it to be now it is at 18 we want it to go to 13 so it is going to the left by 18 minus 13 which is 5 so it's going left by five places so move left block and change the 1 to 5. So we have done the programming for Apple. But now when we click on the green flag again. It should reset it to the old positions. So let's go to A again. So whenever the green flag is clicked. It should actually reset it. So we'll go to the blue blocks. And we'll use the go home block to reset all the alphabets to the original place. So we just have to drag this and put it in A, P, again P, L and E. We don't have to put it in other alphabets because they don't actually move from their place. They just go left and right and then just come back to the original place. So we don't have to do this programming for that. So this is how we make the program work and the letters go to the top using the grid system here. You can also place another fruit here and make another name here as you want. You can add more screens here to take it to the next place. Now with the last character whenever the game is ending that is whenever the user is guessing the name correct from the E it should take it to the U1 play again screen. So whenever it finishes we will go to the red blocks and select the number 3 screen because we want it to go to the page 3. So whenever the E position is E alphabet is placed here, it will take us to the page three. So we have to put this block at the end. So this is the programming for guess the name of the fruit game. You can put another fruits as well.